I'm working on a 2000 Honda Accord with a misfire problem. Engine's running really bad. Um, customer complained it turned off a couple times. Um, this is a, a picture of my tablet from Maxisys, the Alltel Maxisys MS908. I'm David with High Mile Mobile Auto Repair in Northridge, California, and I'm doing a, a little quick uh, diagnostic video and hopefully a repair. So what I've got here is I've got a code P1399, which is a Honda code that states misfire in any cylinder. And I've read about this on the internet and um, just done, you know, just just a few things. I, I've read people talking about this, trying all sorts of different things. I've got a PO304, so that is cylinder number four misfire. Um, I had more cylinders before that, but basically the the uh, check engine light is flashing, which means that the uh, the computer is alerting the driver or the technician that there could be damage to the cat if you continue driving this way. So what we've got here is this this is just a quick way to diagnose. So this is the car here, and as you can see, I've put an X on this coil here um, because this is the problem cylinder. Now what I've done here, and the reason I put the X on there is so that I'll know that it's a bad coil that I suspect because the computer tells me that it's a bad coil and then I won't mix up the uh, that one with the other ones. So I'll know which one is the bad one. So basically what you do here is while the engine's running, you just, you're just gonna unplug it and there's absolutely no change to the idle. So I, I already did the work before, so I already, you know, just to make it quick for this video. So when, when I plug it in, nothing. No change when I unplug it or plug it in. Okay, now I'll leave it plugged in and I'll, plug, I'll unplug a good cylinder and hear the difference. So you hear the idle difference. It just it, the idle drops down. The engine starts to run really, really rough, uh, rougher than before. So when I plug it in, it smooths out for as much as it can smooth out with this little misfire that it has now. So um, on this particular engine, it's pretty easy. Back here, there's there's three more coils back here. It's pretty open, so there's a lot of room to get in there and work on it. And um, so uh, luckily, my the bad coil that I found was up here in the front. And so what I'm going to do here is I've already checked out my live data, and um, it might take me a sec to get there, but in the interest of just saving time, basically my um, spark advance was all over the place. It was going up and down like three degrees or more. Um, the um, the cat oxygen sensor voltage was 0.9. So on bank two, excuse me, bank one sensor two. And so it was just showing rich. So then I did oxygen, um, I tested the oxygen sensor to see if the oxygen sensor is actually responding, if it's telling me the truth or not. So what I did was I stuck propane into the intake and watched my fuel trim go negative and it went negative quite a bit so I knew I knew that the oxygen sensor was responding the voltage went down to to, to show this um, so basically that's how I diagnosed it um, the um, the spark advance and my oxygen sensor voltage on bank one sensor one was okay it was switching ab above and below a half a volt um, which you'll see this on a uh, on a narrow band oxygen sensor and so that's that's what that's what this one uses. And so um, that's basically how I got to my 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 uh, diagnosis here. The the P1399 could could mean many things. I checked the EGR. I blocked it off with a plate. Uh, no change. Um, this has actually can't come in before for um, uh, problems with the EGR valve. And I had to clean it all out. So that's one thing there. So I had a, a EGR code and I had a low flow code. And um, so anyway, this is a, a part two repair, and um, so now I'm going to, uh, this is the um, first video I'm making on doing this particular P1399 on Honda, and I'm going to go ahead and change all six spark plugs, and I'm going to put a new coil in it, and then I'm going to make a follow-up video. Once again, this is David High Mobile Auto Repair, Northridge, California. See you for the next video.